Well, with warmer temperatures upon us, the state takes special precautions to prevent aquatic invasive species. As MTN's Maureen Sue tells us, when the human eye isn't sharp enough to detect an invasive mussel, extra canine resources are brought in. This is Rosebud, and Rosebud has special skills to identify aquatic invasive mussels. This barking lets handler Deb Termenstein know an aquatic invasive mussel is present. Termenstein trained her dogs Rosebud and Ismay to identify aquatic invasive species like the zebra mussel. You start with a sample of the mussel and you get them, you know, focused on that. You train them to um, indicate in some way. We use a passive alert, which is to sit in, in their case. Um, so they're not, you know, digging. Termenstein says it took months of scent identification and associative training with Rosebud and Ismay. And you also get them used to distract distractions, other scents that might, you know, resemble that or might prove to be distracting, for example, like a dead fish or you know, a, a native mussel. This is an important distinction. In the fall of 2016, invasive mussel larvae were detected in the Taibo Reservoir and suspect detection in Canyon Ferry. To this date, no adult mussels have been detected. Invasive mussels can clog pipes, ruin boats, and disturb Montana's natural resources. This line of work may not be for any average dog. To get the right dog that has the right drive and focus is, is key. And not every dog can do that. Ismay is so well trained, she was even able to find the sample muscle while I handled her. While Ismay and Rosebud work hard now, Termenstein says at home her dogs are just normal pets. They have what I call an on off switch. So they know when it's work time, they know when it's time to relax and be a regular dog. You can find Termenstein, Rosebud, and Ismay working at watercraft check stations this summer. Boat checks are available across the stage and are required if you're taking any sort of watercraft into the lake. In Polson, Marin Sue, MTN News.